Hello viewers, in today's video I will show you how you can root Huawei G8 Rio L01 which is running EMUI 4.0.2 which is uh, based on uh, Marshmallow. Viewers, we need to enable USB files transfer mode on our phone and then tap on build number for 7 times to enable developer options. And then in developer options we need to enable OEM unlock and uh, USB debugging. You can see I have already enabled OEM unlock and uh, USB debugging I will also enable. Then we will move to computer and uh, on computer we will copy the Magisk zip file. You, viewers make sure you only use this Magisk zip file you cannot flash any other version of Magisk otherwise your phone will break we should copy this Magisk to SD card uh, storage uh, of our phone don't use internal storage and uh, then we will open the command prompt and uh, here we need to type uh, ADB devices to make sure that uh, USB debugging is uh, working properly if you if uh, your phone ask for uh, adb access tick always allow N then your device will uh, be authorized and uh, then you need to type uh, adb space reboot dash boot loader when you will press enter phone should enter fast boot mode and uh, in fast mode mode you will be able to see that phone is showing phone locked Phone locked mean bootloader is locked. We were uh, since Huawei has stopped uh, providing bootloader unlock code, so you have to purchase the bootloader unlock code. It costs almost uh, four dollar. Now I am going to unlock the bootloader of this phone because the bootloader code I have already obtained. fastboot oem space unlock space and then you need to copy the code viewers code is different for every phone so you cannot use my code and uh, then paste on this cmd screen and press enter if code is correct your phone should uh, reboot automatically and uh, a factory reset process should start so make sure you back up all your important data from your phone otherwise you will lose all the data now uh, we will wait until this phone reboots to normal mode this uh, reset process is going to take uh, five to seven minutes so i will speed up uh, video to make the process short you should skip all configurations don't set fingerprint don't set screen lock don't enter google account you don't need to enter anything you can do everything after the root we will uh, reach home screen and uh, then again we need to enable usb debugging in developer options again we will tap on build number for seven times to enable developer options and then in developer options we will enable usb debugging Viewers, don't touch OEM unlock option. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. Okay, USB debugging enabled, also allowed for ADB access. And uh, here on computer, we again type ADB devices to check the connectivity. And again, type ADB space reboot dash bootloader. And now we will be able to see that phone is showing unlocked because we have already unlocked bootloader in uh, our previous step so now next step will be to uh, flash the twrp recovery on uh, our phone you can see phone is unlocked and now we will type fastboot space flash space recovery and space then drag and drop this twrp recovery on cmd screen and press enter 
flashing has been successful now we should disconnect uh, phone from pc and then hold volume up and power button simultaneously simultaneously you should keep holding power and volume up buttons until you see huawei logo phone should go black and then it will reboot automatically and when you see that huawei logo you should uh, leave the power button and keep holding volume up button and phone should enter twrp recovery mode now swipe to allow modifications viewers if you want to take backup of your important partitions you can do here i don't need to take backup backup because uh, i am going to format this phone later so i will just install the root root on this phone tap on install and then from select storage choose micro sd card and on micro sd card use that magisk that you copied earlier tap on it and swipe to flash this magisk now this uh, flashing process uh, will hardly take uh, one minute or maybe less Once flashing completed, you need to tap on reboot system and on next screen don't press do not install. Now phone should uh, reboot. In some cases, phone may, uh, uh, phone may take some time to reboot. It may uh, go, for, uh, go in boot loop for uh, one minute. That is normal process after root. So let's see how this phone goes. okay it is booting viewers uh, make sure you don't factory reset phone after root and don't install any updates automatic updates otherwise your phone may get bricked okay phone just booted up now we will look for uh, magisk manager okay it appeared tap on it okay we need to connect uh, Wi-Fi and then open Magisk Manager to make sure it is showing that Magisk has been installed. If it asks you to update, press do not install. Viewers, you have to keep this version otherwise your phone may boot loop after updates. So keep uh, the phone with this version of Magisk and uh, now we are going to check uh, root access. Root checker app I have already copied uh, to my SD card. We will just uh, install it to verify root access on our phone. root checker has been installed now uh, we will open it agree with the condition terms and conditions tap on get started and then tap on verify root grant root access and uh, it is saying root is properly installed on this device viewers uh, why uh, 
this uh, magisk method i have used uh, in this routing process because uh, previously in old methods we were using super su but this root this magisk routing method allows you to hide the root from uh, several apps like if your banking app don't allow you to use root you can hide that hide root from that app you can see the list of apps here you can select any app from uh, which don't allow you uh, root and uh, that root will be hidden from that app so this is the main benefit of using magisk thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future